knowledge will always strip any problem of its power. So now knowledge of the word of God will strip any problem, anything that the enemy throws against you against, uh, with its power. It'll strip it every time. So now, ignorance will give access to any problem to continue to have power over you. Oh, my. That's one of the reasons why the devil don't want you to get knowledge. You know, the devil, he, he, he don't want you to hear the truth. Because Jesus said in John 8 that it's the truth. You shall know the truth, and the truth will not keep you bound, but the truth you know will make you free. See, because once you get revelation knowledge, and you know that you know that you know, you're free now. See, it don't matter what's happening. The devil can't do nothing to you when you get revelation knowledge of the word. And that's what he don't want. He don't mind you coming up here sitting, listening at me. But see, once you come and be a doer, not just a hero only, but when you make up in your mind that you're going to be a doer of the word, now the fight is on. The devil like, oh, man. See, because he don't mind you sitting up here and hearing it. See, because the more you sit up here and then you listen and don't do anything, it's almost like you make this word void. No, like, like it's nothing. You know, like somebody do now. I ain't heard all that faith stuff before. And you can use your faith to save a roach right now. But see, you can become accustomed and used to just being a hearer and not a doer. Hallelujah. But once you get revelation, and once you know how to apply faith, then not only do you become free, but you'll never be defeated another day in your life. See, that's why I said most Christians, they live defeated lives because they don't understand faith. If you ask your, your average Christian, what's faith? One of the things they say, oh, I got faith. Well, well tell me what that means. I believe God, uh, uh, and uh, I trust God, and uh, uh, um, that's it. I, said, I didn't say y'all. Is y'all looking like, is that it? Now, where does this ignorance come from? Go to Romans 10, 17. This is very, very important. Romans 10, 17, very familiar passage. So then, faith cometh by hearing, comma, and hearing by the word of God. So we got to understand that. So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So now faith comes by hearing. Where does the hearing come from? The hearing comes from the word of God. So now faith comes by hearing. Now I need to know where does the hearing come from? The hearing doesn't come from your ears. The hearing comes from the word of God. See, and I said that not your ears because you can hear this word all day long and don't mean nothing. You know, just hearing it naturally, that doesn't mean, oh, no, 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 no. Faith comes by, where does the hearing come? Hearing by the word of God. So in other words, in order for me to hear faith, because faith comes by hearing, in order for me to hear faith, then I've got to first hear the word of God. See, in other words, it's like this. I teach you this word, you know, but see, you've got to get a revelation. See, in other words, you know, see, when you, when you got your spiritual antennas up, there's something that you will hear. It may not even necessarily be in the message. See, in other words, I can be teaching about flowers, but then you can hear a word that's relevant to the deliverance of your family. And I wasn't even talking about family. 
So it's not barbatim just hearing the words itself. It's a matter of you getting a personal revelation. Oh, my. So now, in order for me to hear faith, I've got to hear the word of God. You see, faith is only the product or the results of consistently hearing the word of God. That's why we've been told we're to meditate on that word, not just on Sunday. See, see some of us, we, we, we live from Sunday to Sunday, and that, that's why things ain't work. You can't do that. You can't even do that in the natural unless you're on a fast. You can't be just eating from one, one week to the next. I'm going to eat today, but I ain't going to eat no more until next Sunday. Don't work like that. But see, some of us, we do the same thing with this. We hear this word now. Next time you're going to hear it when you come back next Sunday. And it don't work that way. See, we're told to meditate on this word day and night. So faith is a result of consistently hearing the word. This is why you've got to be careful even in what you hear. Now, some folks criticize me, man, you always talking about some of the songs. No, 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 it's, it's not that. See, it's just a matter if something does not line up with the word. See, because you've got to be careful what you hear. See, because what you hear uh, uh, will affect your actions. You know, I've said all the time, the, the, ear, the ear gate is one of the entrances to your heart. So you got to be careful. What is it that you're hearing? That's why you don't need to be hearing mess. See, you don't, you don't, you know, you don't need to be hearing crazy stuff and, and a lot of unbelief and doubt and, and all of that. You don't need to hear that kind of stuff. You know, you believe in God for healing. You, you don't need to hear somebody say, well, you know, Lord, don't heal everybody. You know, so-and-so, so was, they, they, they would believe for their healing, but they died. You don't need to hear that. Hallelujah. You got to be careful of what you hear. Jesus said in Mark 4, 24, be careful what you are hearing because the measure you give the truth you hear will be measured back to you. See, whatever it is that you keep listening to, what you keep hearing, that's the same measure that's going to come back to you. In other words, you can't just hear something and think it, that's, it's not going to have any effect on you. See, you can't keep hearing garbage or you can't keep hearing and I don't want to say garbage. You can't keep hearing things that, that sounds good, but it's not the word of God. You know, it's just like, it, it's, it, this sounds good to say the Lord is going to heal me. That sounds good, but nowhere in the Bible does it say the Lord is going to heal you. Because the Bible says by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. You know, it sounds good to say the Lord is going to bless me. But Ephesians 1 and 3 says, thanks be the, uh, God be the Father of who has already blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. So we got to even be careful of hearing a lot of things like that, hearing a lot of hopeful things. See, because when we hear a lot of hope, that keeps us in a hope mode. And a hope mode is not a faith mode. And that's why we end up hoping and a praying. I'm hoping that this happens. Because you're hearing a lot of hope. I want to run with that, but I won't do it because I'm on TV. Let's keep faith alive. Somebody caught it. Oh, my. So now I've got to be careful of what I hear. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, anything outside of the word, I don't need to hear that. Because in order for me to hear faith, hearing comes by the word. I've got to hear the word of God. What does the word say? That would be just like you could be going through a situation. What does the word say? I, 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 don't, want, I don't want to hear Uncle Bubba's opinion. And, and I'm not knocking on Uncle Bubba. He means well. You know, Aunt Sally means well. But I need, what does, I need, I need, what does the word say? Yeah. 
You know, I, I, I need to know what does the